हेलो फ्रेंड्स इंफ्राटेक यूट्यूब चैनल में आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं इस वीडियो को लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड नाउ दिस इज द पार्ट टू वीडियो एंड यू आर सीइंग दिस इज डैशबोर्ड मेन डैशबोर्ड यू आर सीइंग एज वी टॉक इन प्रीवियस वीडियो now i am adding a customers a new customer i want to add a new customer so you can select a customers tab and add a new customers there are two customers at now demo and xyz i am adding new abc their phone number their website uh, their groups we are not creating any groups in the settings uh, but in previous video i am uh, so, uh, showing you you can create your groups as per your choice you can select currency usd or ina uh, so you can select currency as per your choice default language you can select from here and the latitude longitude address city state zip code and country code and uh, and also update uh, the billing and uh, shipping address for the customer for the client you can add uh, uh, their billing address their shipping address if the address billing address and shipping address are same you can Uh, select from copy billing address and if your customer info is same like uh, billing address you can select this and then this so all the address are same okay and uh, you need to create a save option that is available in right hand side last and the save option once you click on save your customer will be added now you can see third customer that is the abc you can see from here i am not adding any primary contact email address at now because i am showing you just a demo so the customer is added now you go to sales option you can create uh, proposals estimates invoices and uh, payments etc and you can add your product also in items tab and then first we will adding items if uh, at now i am adding this as a demo i am use uh, i am adding another like uh, web design okay and i am adding charges okay and uh, you can add unit you can add unit or one or other things or you can leave it as and the click on save button you can also select text from here these are the taxes 18% gst tax too if you have any you can select from here like cgst igst or only gst you can add from here and save okay then Uh, now uh, you can we are creating estimates if i want to create an estimate you need to create uh, you need to go to estimate tab this is used for quotation or estimates and uh, uh, create a new estimate and from customer tab you can select your customers that i will add before i added before and uh, i select a b c and now a b c is comes here you can check uh, we have three clients x y z a b c and demo you can see demo also demo is available and x y z so all the clients you added in customers tab you uh, these all are showing here so directly you can select from 
here for making quotation or invoices so i am selecting right now abc and uh, once you select abc you see their billing address and shipping address because i'm not adding any billing address and shipping address right now so i'm not seeing here anything uh, if we add uh, from customers tab their billing address and shipping address we will see here and their currency automatically selected because i selected for that customer is hyena indian rupees so this uh, default by default selected and uh, you can select your discount type before tax or after tax and status if you send this invoices you can change status or expired or declined accepted you can select uh, and change status you can select your sales agent uh, who done this sale you can select from here or not if you want nothing you can select nothing selected and uh, you can select your estimate number you can change from here also or you can use by default numbers you can make a, a, you can type a reference if you want to give any reference here admin note if you want to give any admin note you can type here estimate date and expiry date you can select from here okay now from add item you can select your items uh, at now we have only two items uh, that uh, i will add before uh, is web design and crm software and now i am selecting crm software and this uh, this is already done and this price is coming up and uh, uh, its gst rates also comes up here you can add uh, descriptions also or you need to add uh, descriptions in the items tab you can add so when uh, from next time you select uh, crm software description also comes up and this is the quantity and uh, this is the quantity and you know, uh, this option also you get so you need to select a unit or any other so uh, this is the cost per unit one unit charges is this and uh, you also want to give if any discount you can select from here like 10% uh, discount and uh, and just click on this right click once uh, uh, you uh, tick on right click you see this now this uh, item is added in the invoices you can check uh, you can check the quotation and also you can see the uh, you can see uh, subtotal and after discount 150 is the discount because i give 10 percent so 150 is discount 18 percent gst and after that uh, total amount is 1593 you can give any client note and terms and conditions and from right hand bottom side you are getting options save and send and save these two options you getting so if you want to save you can save from by clicking on save button once uh, estimate is saved uh, you can see by clicking on the print button and also you can add it again estimate and also you can download the pdf from view pdf option and also send to email directly from here and uh, one more options these are all also options you can check uh, you can change the status of the estimate and and uh, you want if you want to convert this quotations to invoice you can convert from here in a single click now you can see this is the final output this is the estimate you are seeing it now when you upload your authorized signature you or you see your signature here okay if you want digital sign if you don't want digital signature you can simply do a physical signature over here and these are the software and one unit cost and rate and gst and total amount discount gst rates everything you can got here and estimate date ex, esti expiry dates your company name your address estimate number everything you got in this now we are converting this into 
uh, directly converting this into invoice or you can create a new invoice from here so uh, i am creating converting directly convert it to invoice and convert now invoice is uh, created and uh, you can see now this is the invoice and this is the previous invoice this is the latest invoice abc customer name and this is the previous demo now you can see your you can see from by clicking print option now everything is converted into invoice you see invoice here invoice name invoice number and uh, paid or unpaid option status and uh, bill to invoice date due date invoice details and uh, you see this options for payment offline payment bank mm, at now this is not available upi payment uh, i will edit invoice and add upi payment from here okay now i am adding this invoice and uh, at now we have only allowed payment modes for this invoice is one bank now i am selecting upi also and uh, save changes now you can record your payments from here uh, you can make a note uh, amount received date of payment payment mode and leave a note if you want to give any okay and uh, if you do do not want to send invoice payment recorded email to customer contacts you can select here otherwise if you want to send uh, email to customer contacts you not select and save this if you receive payment now this is also a payment option you can add from here uh, you are uh, you seeing all the payments you received all that you can track from here all the payments now this is the options of expenses after these two options uh, uh, items invoices payments items here yeah, for these four options proposals also you, you can use like estimates these options already covered up and uh, uh, after this uh, record expense you can record your expenses name note expense category you can add category in settings expense date amount okay you can select from here and uh, this is nothing more need to do new contract you can add if you get any new contract you can add from here projects you can add if you are getting new projects you can add all your projects from here by creating new projects project name customers which customers and the progress their project progress billing status estimated hours members these are the things you can do and uh, after that to uh, projects uh, you can create task if you want to create new task for your any team members you can assign task you can create new tickets for support leads you can check leads you can add leads you can import leads import leads from as uh, csv files okay you can directly import leave from csv files like which have a name sample data position company description country code uh, you have these of all the fields in this format in your csv files and then you can select your csv files and import your leads any leads from here okay and uh, after that uh, uh, you can select uh, uh, you also create a custom leads you can also create a custom leads 
from if you want to add a new lead you need to select add new lead lead status lead source from where you got this lead assigned to which name of the lead and other things you can do from here and save you can see all the new updates and knowledge from this option knowledge base articles and groups utilities uh, from utilities tab you can add media and uh, you can add bulk uh, pdf export you can also export all the pdfs if you want to export all the invoices of one month or two months you can uh, select invoices and from date any date to any date then all the invoices or uh, between these dates are exported so this option uh, will be very useful for you and this is the calendar options in the calendar options you can set you can check your calendars goals tracking you can track your goals add new goals if any new goals surveys you can check surveys add new surveys now uh, you can update with uh, your team with the new announcements if you want to give and uh, there are these options you nothing to do that because these are the software part so not uh, visited last three options okay now reports you can see the reports sales reports you can track how many in, uh, invoices sales generated how many uh, items reported how many payments you received how much payment you received estimates and customers uh, these are the reports of sales expenses reports you can also check from here and uh, you can compare expenses versus income from here and uh, you can see the reports of leads okay how much you receive how many leads you received on monday tuesday wednesday every week and from which platform and uh, their conversion their status you can see from here so these are the complete options so please see the first part one video for basic settings and for using this software you can see you can also see part two videos part two is most important for you because the part one is done by red on team when you receive the software and the part two is done by you and yourself or your team and uh, the benefits of these softwares are very interesting like you can manage from everywhere anywhere anytime from any laptop any pc so you can purchase this software by radon team so this is the end of the video thanks for watching this video if you want to ask any more details you can connect with the radon team we will always help you thanks इस वीडियो को देखने के लिए आपका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद मिलते हैं आपसे नई वीडियो में थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो थैंक्स